welcome to Art Club. It's negative space this week, so we'll be drawing the space around the things. Um, I'm going to be here with Helen and Tanya's in the comments to make sure everyone's all right. Let's see. There's Helen, hello. I've got, I've got my bedtime cup of tea already. <laughs> I've got the sleepy tea, but I will try and stay awake longer. Hello Tanya, hello Helen. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good thanks. Hi Tanya. We're all here, there's Jane as well. Nice friendly faces. Yay. Brilliant. Do you know are what? You... I completely oh. forgot about Art Club and it's a miracle I'm here, Katie. No way! <laughs> it's the first time that has ever happened. All day I remembered and then I thought, oh, I'll make some dinner and I started cooking, completely lost track of time, didn't think about it. Was just about to put all the food on the plates and went, <gasps> oh, uh, does that mean you've had to pause dinner mid? Yeah, but dinner was, was salad, so that's okay. It's, it's oh, that's stay it. nice until I go back down. <laughs> no. Well, I started, I was, I was starting to reply to a message um, in our good ship WhatsApp, and then <laughs> I looked at the time and I was like, oh, it's seven <laughs> o'clock. What am I doing? I shouldn't be here writing. So, yeah, I think we've got coffee. a bit. Blase about it because we've been here so much this week. That's what it is. My brain thinks we've done three art clubs. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised anybody's. Oh, we've got 74 people here at the moment. I thought nobody had come tonight because we've been here so much. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, you guys again. Oh, again. <laughs> it's Miss V James's first night tonight. She's Hooray! There. And she signed up for the course too. Hey! Oh, there. brilliant. Oh, what that's brilliant. God. It's very exciting. Oh, I can see lots of people who've sailed with us before. And there's Alice Wood, who is our good ship lifeguard. Yes. She's in the emails and does all sorts of stuff for us. She's brilliant. And she and she's an illustrator, makes picture books. She's brilliant. We're very lucky. To have yeah. I think I have to take my cardi off. It's got remarkably warm. Yeah, it's it's warm today. I've been outside all day. I feel quite like, you know, when you've been on a holiday and you, you feel all like you've been in the sun all day. <laughs> Yeah, wind swept and <laughs> yes. tired. Extra That's tired nice. and like frazzled by the sun. <laughs> That's Ooh, nice. Indonesia. Hello to Indonesia. That's exciting. Mm. Well, um, coal stores closed tonight. So 10 o'clock, doors closed. And we're really, really strict about it. Partly just because, well, it's really hard to get anybody in after 10 o'clock. If you email us afterwards and ask us if you can be let in. It's more work than you'd imagine behind the scenes to make that happen. Yeah. Um, I feel like there were two reasons, but that is it really. We're strict about it because it's such a pain trying to get anybody in after 10 o'clock. Yeah, I think the two reasons were one, we're really strict and we just want to be mean. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and that, That's yeah, it. Just the extra we're work. lazy <laughs> and mean. We're lazy. It's the weekend. We don't want to be doing extra things. <laughs> um, but yes, we are very strict. So if you don't make it this time, that's totally fine. Um, for whatever reason, but if you do want to join in, don't email us at half past ten because we won't let you in. We're very strict. Yeah, you'll have to come with us next time if you miss it. Yeah. The hey, there's Jen. She's doing some sketch revisions and she's got us on while she's sketching. Oh, that's nice. Hey. Oh, Rax0909 says what we're going to do. We're going to do a negative space tonight. So I've got some strict instructions about negative space because I get a bee in my bonnet about this, haven't I? Yes, I enjoy this. <laughs> Strict Helen, <laughs> unleash the fury. <laughs> I'll waggle my finger. So, negative space is drawing the space around your object, but that doesn't mean drawing a line around your object and then colouring the background in. It's no, no, all no. about the way you look at your object. So, when you look, at, I've got this, which is brilliant, really nice little thing. Um, when I look at the object, I'm trying to sort of look at the shape of the space around it rather than just draw a picture of it and then colouring in the outside. You don't really gain anything by doing that because that's just doing a line drawing. Hey, I like your little grater. Got little holes, mm. little holes. Very good for negative space. Nice. It's a very beautiful little cheese grater, that. Was that your birthday present? <laughs> this is, no, this is a different cheese grater I was given on another date. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a very fun. <laughs> One, but I thought for, for negative space because it's got these nice shapes and things yeah it's lend itself very well yeah that's great for it mm. 
My other objects are not, oh no, these are good for negative space. I like to draw scissors, they're good. Those are a classic negative mm. space subject. Yeah. Or Do a you chair have... with a back on it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the funny old teapot. You know what we realised? We tried to use it, we thought we'll put all these cups around and pour loads. <laughs> Yeah. Only one spout is real. The rest are fake spouts. Oh, there's no fun with that. No, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Put it back. I don't want it anymore. Oh, I was imagining you watering the garden with that every day. That would be so good. <laughs> but yeah, it only, it only does the normal spout, but you can scare guests with the other spouts. <laughs> oh, there's Claire. She can only stay for half an hour. That's all right. We'll, we'll let, let you off. Mm. Yeah. You can leave early today. <laughs> yeah. oh, I've got a whole Please little, the half an hour. Fly. A little fly. Ah, keeps bombing me. Oh, no. Is it from your honey? Is it from your your illustrator plant? Because my I've brought my big plant partly to show off oh. how big, partly because it's got good negative space. All oh, these. Do you know, I should have brought mine. That would have been good, wouldn't it? Yeah, but mine's nowhere mine... near as tall as that. Mine's about that tall, but it is starting to have a few little tiny babies around the bottom. Yeah. Congratulations mm. to your Pilea plan. So <laughs> okay, I think we might as well start. I've got my phone. Brilliant. Yes. Timer. What are you drawing with for negative space? Oh, that's some... well, that's big space. I've got some bingo dabbers. Nice. I've also nice. mixed a little bit of paint on my palette. These are paints that I've had at Art Club for the last few weeks and I just keep putting water back on them and using them again. I That's probably good. used them when we did complementary colours, didn't I? Because I've got green and red. That's why I'm lazy. I've just got the same paint sticks that have been in my pencil case all week, but I'm going with it. Like yeah, go with it. That's good. Uh, Andrea <laughs> says, what's the plant called? It's called, is it called a pile? Pile? Yeah, pile. Pile, pepper, mm. and anemones. If somebody knows but the we... real word. We call it the illustrator's plant, but do you know, um, I was with some friends the other day and they had one and they get, they told me a different name. Oh, no, it wasn't my friend who told me, it was on Gardener's World. They called it a Japanese money tree, money plant. Oh yeah, the Chinese money plant, that's another name oh, for it. Yeah, ah, okay. Because I always think a money plant is like a succulent. Yeah, and then there's money plants that are like those umbrella plants as well. So I think mm. people don't call any plant a money plant. And that's mm. Mm. Oh, look, Alice has got the pe proper word for it there. Yes. She says pili pepperom... Oh, wide. Oh, wide. Pepper Pepperoni. <laughs> I think Alice is probably shouting at me now, telling me yeah. how to say it. Pepperomides. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Good. We call it the illustrator's plant. Yeah. Because all fun. illustrators seem to have one. Yeah, it's the key to a successful illustration career is one of those plants. After the chat about the beret last night. Oh yeah. Somebody whose name I've forgotten. Can't remember her name. She sent me an excellent picture of her wearing a very fine beret. It's wow. kind of lovely furry one. Oh nice. I still haven't bought one since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong Sorry time to... of year. I know. <laughs> Pilea peperomoides. Oh, I see oh. Alice is doing that's the oh, that's them. good. Thanks, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> In Dutch, it's a pancake plant. That's oh. easier, isn't it? Yeah, that makes sense. UFO plant as well. <laughs> is that another name for it? Yeah, little UFOs. <laughs> that's brilliant. Right, okay, I'll set the timer. Okay. So, how about one minute? Sounds good to me. Okay, get ready. Go. I'm going for bingo dabber. Okay, good choice. I'm going for blue paint stick. Oh, I forgot to move that. We're quarter of the way through the time already. Already? Already. Man. Oops. The wonkiest cheese grater you ever did see. <laughs> I saw a really good cheese grater in a charity shop today. 
And it was in a kind of cup, and it was one of those with like the windy handle that you can wind oh, yeah. around, and it grates that's, it into the cup. That's the kind that I got for my birthday, I think. Ah. Was it uh oh. Oh, I didn't get very far. <laughs> yeah, the really cool thing about this cheese grater was that it was in a red cup with a lid on it. And when you looked inside, there was a cheese grater and a little handle. On the outside, it had a white cross. So it looked like it was like a some sort of emergency first aid cheese grater. And I was still looking out for ages going, where's the connection between... Oh, it was a white cross, so that implies it's Swiss rather than first aid, doesn't it? I don't know. White I cross on red rather than first aid. <laughs> anyway, it looked, no, no, really, no. it looked really beautiful. I just stared at it for ages, feeling a bit of confusion about what the meaning was of the red and the white and the cheese grater, and then I put it back. <laughs> <laughs> a dangerous illness where you need cheese really quickly. <laughs> you know how diabetic people pretend that they need to eat sweets right now or they'll do something? <laughs> Just like that, I'll be, I'll be a cheese diabetic. <laughs> I'm in a cheese hypo. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to grate it. <laughs> it, to, it's it your mouth. <laughs> that sounds brilliant. Mm. <sighs> to have anyway, I didn't get very far with my sewing machine. That's all I managed. Oh, that was good for the time we had. This is my wonky cheese grater. Oh, brilliant. Andrea's saying it was a Swiss army cheese grater. That's exactly what it was. It was a Swiss oh. army cheese grater. <laughs> Wish I'd bought it now. <laughs> Throwing my paint sticks away. Come back. <laughs> yeah, right. I was an emergency, exactly. I've lost my bingo dabber. Oh, there right. it is. Right. Okay. How long should we do for this one? <clears throat> should we do a bit longer? Maybe three minutes? Three minutes sounds good. Okay. And go. 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 Yellow this time. Oh, my bingo dabber just had a huge flood. Oh, no. I think I could probably do the whole drawing with the amount of bingo that leaked out of it. <laughs> <laughs> bingo juice. <laughs> Full of bingo. <laughs> So if anybody um, jumps on the course while we're at Art Club, tell us. That'd be so exciting to hear somebody's joining live just before the deadline. Yes. And, and then we're in the board. You know, last time we opened the doors, somebody joined at exactly 10 o'clock. I was amazed. Really? I saw them skid under the door, grabbing their hat like <laughs> Emma Jones. I was like, whoa. <laughs> amazing. What did you say? I've um, been making things up, just this is not right. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh no. Yeah. Let's try and do a small one. Have you eaten tonight already, Katie? I have. We had a nice curry for dinner. Ooh, so good. Have you eaten? Oh, you're so waiting. I have a really nice salad with all sorts of things in it waiting for me when I go downstairs. Is it a fancy salad? Well, not that fancy. It's got um, um, chicken, uh, hard boiled eggs, tomatoes, loads of different seeds, lots of different leaves, some basil. That sounds very nice. It'll be nice, yeah. I love salad. Do you like a proper salad with all the, all the tasty bits? All the trimmings. Yes. I was thinking as well, I might even make some croutons to go in it when I go downstairs. Oh, OMG, like proper yeah. ones, fry the bread and stuff. Well, I'll, what, um, I usually put um, a little bit of olive oil, wipe a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan and then chop up some sourdough that's a bit hard now because we've had it for a few days and just let it sit 
in the frying pan for a little bit so it's kind of toasted in a bit of olive oil. Delicious. Yeah. Even though I've already had my dinner, I could have that as well. <laughs> I would manage. Oh, I forgot about the timing part of this task. I'm just going to ignore the timer just for a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anya says toasted pumpkin seeds. Ooh. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, oh, I've, got, I've measured something very strange. I'm going to give up on it, actually. Oh, the <laughs> oh look at this. That pink looks like it's glowing. Or red, whatever colour it is. I've done pink line and red background. The pink and red together are nice, aren't they? It's jazzy. This is my a few attempts at teapot. Hey, that's nice. It, that yellow's lovely, it, isn't it? A bit wonky here because I forgot about the <laughs> with the learning. <laughs> I'm going to use this nice greeny colour paper now because the red with the green will look nice, won't it? Let's see, Doodaloo22 says, you need, to, I'm imagining it's do you need, do you need to put some details on the middle of the next day subject? I never know how much is okay. Yeah, that's, that's where your own unique creative voice comes in, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> also, it's really nice to, oh, my voice went really funny then, got too <laughs> excited and high pitched. It's nice I enjoyed to, it. um, to also think about the background and maybe not have all the whole background one colour. Like if there's some shadow around your object or behind it, you could have mm -hmm. two colours for the negative space as well. A good idea. Or more. You could go really detailed on the negative space and then leave the other bit blank. Mm. Yes. Oh well, yeah, June's asking the same question. Um, you can do details if you want. Mm. So. I've, I usually do the negative space drawing first and then just put the essential details down that give the object a little bit more hint of what it is, if you know what I mean. I personally stay quite quite minimal with that bit. I haven't put any details on. I'm going to try on the next one. I'm going to do shadows with blendy colours. It's inspired mm. me. Good idea. Advanced <laughs> Exactly, Holly. <laughs> okay, shall I set the timer a bit longer this time? Yeah, should we do maybe five minutes? Five minutes. Bear okay. Go. Yeah. Let's tackle the plant. It's so many leaves. I don't even know where to begin. Trees and plants, particularly trees, quite hard, aren't they? You have to decide whether to be literal or just draw the gist or make a shorthand for sh showing yeah. what it is. There's so when there's so many leaves and they're all so chaotically splattered about. Yeah. I'm gonna give my brain a workout. Do a sort of literal one. We ate dinner outside tonight. It was very nice. Oh, very nice. It's been so nice today. It's really unusual for us to have sunlight this with no sea har coming in, no yes. wind. It's lovely. And spoiled.
Hmm. How much time have we got left? Two minutes. Oh, I might risk mm -hmm. ripping off the edge of my paper, gluing it down, and repainting a little bit of it because I've measured wrong. That's yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Three. Yeah. That was the right decision. Oh my goodness, this plant is just very confusing. <laughs> my eyeballs. Maybe your brain's not up to it from all the brain training last night. Maybe it needs a rest. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, when you've been for a run or a, a really long walk and you feel a bit achy. Exactly. My brain is, is doing that. planning a nice internet holiday over the weekend oh that's a good idea yeah i bought a nice book today um we're going for a coffee in the morning i was like i'm just gonna oh. pretend that doesn't exist what a good idea i might do the same thing after all the good ship work this week i could do with a bit of screen free yeah so i was thinking all the all the excitement of the course oh close the sales page and go to sleep yeah, good idea. We have a little um, outhouse in the garden that Jerry's done up and he's put some bunk beds in there so that Kai can sleep out there. So it's like a, it's like a holiday resort, but in the garden. <laughs> Amazing. And, um, we're having Kai's room decorated at the moment. So we, and she, she calls it the vegan aesthetic apartment. And... <laughs> You don't have to be vegan to stay in it. It's only the vegan aesthetic. It's not, you don't have to, like, legally, you don't have to be vegan. You could eat a bacon sandwich in there or anything. Really? Anyway, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We've been staying there because Kai's having her room. I'm ignoring the clock, by the way. Oh, that's fine. Me too. Because I'm halfway through my scissors and they're working out nice. Anyway, <laughs> so... um. Because she's having her room decorated, we've been sleeping out there. It's been so nice. Oh, it's been lovely. lovely. I feel like I'm on holiday when I wake up because I can hear all the birds singing. And It'll be on like... the night time, it's really dark. It's lovely. That's what you want in a nice holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and the benefit of it is that when you're on holiday, like you often go on holiday and feel as if there's just as much work to do as there is when there's at home. Pie still needs feeding and like it doesn't feel like a holiday sometimes but this it is because i'm not trying to prepare food in a tent or anything like that <laughs> it can actually go inside and use the real cooking facilities no brilliant or unpacking it's the yeah, exactly it's the best of all worlds i've decided i'll never go on holiday again except for in the garden <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's eco-friendly as well the yeah. benefit so many benefits <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at your blue and yellow. Oh, that's Having a lot lovely. Of... Yeah, paint sticks forever. Oh. Should I stop now? Are we going to stop? I've stopped. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> I missed out an important detail of the plant, which is the central stalk, but if we ignore that, it's very okay. pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love that. Looks like a screen yeah. print. It does. I love the, you reminded me like the way that overlap the paint sticks. It looks so pleasing. Yeah, that's lovely. Here's my um, sewing machine and pair of scissors. Oh, nice. <laughs> I can always recognise your scissors and sewing machines. They're very, very Helen-y. They're very pleasing to draw. Yeah. Yeah, doodaloo oh. 22. Misbehaving with the time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're in we are in charge of the rules, so we can be flexible when it suits us. <laughs> <laughs> Except when it's very strictly not allowed. Yeah, depends what mood we're in, doesn't it? 
<laughs> and I think um, lovely Jane's sunbeam messaged me about something. Oh, I know what it was. So at art club, instead of drawing an object in front of her, she used her imagination. And she messaged oh, me and said, I used my imagination. Is that all right? <laughs> I mean, she's brave to admit that to you directly. I know, I know. And so I had to think about it and I thought, mm, I'm in lenient mood today. So I messaged her and said, that's all right. And she said, oh, I just never know. She said, I never know whether I'm going to get, what did she say? I can't remember. She had she phrased it really nicely. Whether she's going to get authoritarian Helen or Helen that's been lenient with the rules. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that's right. Witchcrafty. The police are above the law. That's what. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jane, I hope you're not drawing from your imagination tonight because you'll be in trouble if you are. We can sense it, <laughs> even with us. No. <laughs> Should we set the timer again? Let's do it. It's 26 minutes past, so we could do... 10 minutes? 10 minutes? 10 minutes? Yeah. yeah. All right, then. Go. Go, go, go. I'm still laughing about that time yesterday when I forgot to put my camera down and it looked like your arms were coming out of my body. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was amazing, that. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I've swapped to my green paint this time for a change. Mm. Red and green. Definitely the, the quiet zone. Yeah, we're, we're there. We're in the yeah. zone. It happens. We've reached creative flow. Yes, the best time.
being a bit naughty. I'm not really doing negative space anymore. Are you not? What's no. going on? Don't tell anyone. I think I, I think I came across as too relaxed about the rules earlier on. I'm regretting it now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell me what to do. <laughs> I, I the knew there was a reason. I need a reason? No, I said I knew there was a reason that I have to enforce the, loo the law around here. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? What am You're I just doing? Drawing. You're just drawing yeah. and not negative spacing. Yeah, I just thought. You know what? Life's short. <laughs> <laughs> Do what I want. Oh, God. I got Rebel Sketchbooker on the quiz, you see. <laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, am I getting to the... I think I'm getting to the end of my paint stick. Really? Yeah. They last for quite a long time. Mine have, mine have been, I don't think any of mine have got there yet. It's amazing. It's got a hole in the, in the middle. I don't know if they all got holes in the middle. I oh, don't know. I think I'm just panicked. I'm being a drama queen. It's fine. <laughs> Crisis averted. There's all sorts of good noises coming from your... Yeah, I'm using a paint stick like a stamper. It's very... I highly oh. recommend. I had some darker green. Oh, I could use my bingo dabber for a darker green. Bingo dabber to the rescue. Yeah. Well, that's good. I like that. Oh, 10 minutes feels so good. It's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Got nearly two minutes left. This is so much fun. I'm enjoying this. Me too. It's nice to have a longer stretch for negative space, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely in a happy place.
Sounds like you're stapling something. <laughs> Not yet. No, I'm just because the paint stick is so sticky. It's when I press with it, it sounds like. Oh. <laughs> this is an advanced technique. Did you ever have those pens, the Crayola ones that had a stamper on one side? No, I don't remember those. They were amazing. Well, actually, they're a bit rubbish, but for for about five, <laughs> like, and, <laughs> you'd do a, you'd print a few hearts or musical notes, and then you'd be like, uh, <laughs> amazing for five minutes. Yeah. Time up. What? Oh, Nikki Lawrence designed this. I've just you what you do, but I've heard so many good things. Oh, that's Aww. exciting. Welcome, Nikki. Brilliant. See you in the course next week. <laughs> like I was cheating, but in my defence, the back was negative space. That and is the business. It is the business. Yeah, I love that. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. This is also awesome. I found a little bit of white paint, so I managed to just dab some little bits of white here and there. Wow, that like jumps out the heart, the, not the heart, what do you call it, highlights? Yeah, the white bits, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was you, good fun. You can tell when we've had loads of fun doing it. Yeah. <laughs> then the drawing's yeah. like, it was fun to make. Exactly, yeah, when it's fun, the drawings look good, don't they? Yes. Mm hmm well, yeah, so it sort of started as negative space and then developed, and that's the fun of it, isn't it? Yes. It's when you kind of force yourself to do something, and then it just becomes play, and then you just give yourself the freedom to go off from there. It's where the magic is, isn't it? Probably where the magic is. Like when you yeah. get a regimented thing. Yeah, that's just like, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Brady. <laughs> Chris did a yeah. two at the time and quite liked it. Mm, brilliant. Something <laughs> nice about restricted palette, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's magic. It is. I love a restricted palette. <laughs> it sounds like a disease. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of restricted palette. There's nothing <laughs> 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 Okay, so what about another long one? Yeah, that sounds like yeah. a good one. One was so fun. Yeah, I'll set the timer for 10 minutes again then. Nice. Okay, go. Go, go. <clears throat> Try and be good. Ooh, watch. I'm running out of my green and my red, so I'm, I've got some pink on the palette, so I'm going to use that instead. Mm, it's a good pink if it's the one I remember. It's slightly lighter than a pink panther pink. It's nice. Is it like Pepto-Bismol pink? I actually don't know what colour Pepto-Bismol is. <gasps> what? What right. is Pepto-Bismol? Is that like to cure a hangover? What yeah, it? I think it's for like um, if you've got acidy stomach. My aunt, my aunt oh. makes it religiously. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a really good pink colour though. You Google it afterwards. Oh, oh. it's this it's this like slightly lighter than pink panthers. It's very nice. That's a good way to describe it. Pink Panther is kind of the ideal pink, except that I do really love a raspberry or a magenta pink as well. Oh, yeah, really zingy. Yeah.
isn't drawing just the best thing ever? It totally is. It's a magic reset button. Yeah. To see something with your eyeballs and then put it on the paper. Yeah. It's magic. Well, there's some underneath that light pink on the palette there's some dark pink so my pink's changing as I go across the picture that's quite nice nice mm. the prize nice yeah
see how much time we've got. We've got two and a half minutes left. Two and a half. I'm definitely just messing around. Yeah, Tanya says deep zone. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's, we are no longer here. <laughs> Please leave a message. Okay, I think I'm going to start making it rubbish if I carry on. Are you going to stop? I'm going to stop. I have had a word with myself. Yeah, good idea. Don't, don't overwork it. I will finish my tea. Oh yeah, she's finished her drawing too. We can just chill. Sarah Lacey's stopping too. Hi, Sarah. That's all. I try and line up my body so it looks like Helen's arm is my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still <laughs> I'm very busy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my game. <laughs> Are you having a nice time, Katie? Yeah, I'm just going to go with a bingo dabber, give it a bit of squeeze. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nice time. I'm not sure whether I like the outcome now, but I had a nice time. Ooh, nice. Same. I also had a nice time. Wasn't as excited as it, but it's. Oh, it's... yeah. Oh, you've gone purple and yellow this time. Oh, purple always makes me feel a bit weird, but it was there in my pencil case. It's really hard to use purple, isn't it? It is. It's just like one of those colours. I don't know why. Mm. Sarah says, enjoyed that so much. Oh, I can't wait to see it afterwards then, Sarah. I wonder what it's like. <laughs> you Sarah, was, Sarah did a really brilliant thing today and turned down some work because... It wasn't what she envisages herself doing in the future and she felt it would lead her along a path that didn't feel right. So she turned it down. Isn't that brilliant? Which, amazing. Mm. So good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it, I think that's harder to do sometimes. That, so like saying mm. no to job feels really scary sometimes if you don't. Yeah, especially if you're just starting out and you kind of think, well, I should do this because it might help me but if it feels wrong in every way that they've even asked the wrong illustrator then it can it can be distracting from your work and you can lose your confidence doing that can't you yeah and then when you gain some of your confidence back you feel like saying no is not as scary or oh, it's still scary but you can do it and you're like no i'm gonna stay firm and do what yeah. i do yeah i think i saw somebody really? say this that malls blue i missed most of that drawing time because i was signing up for the course Way! hooray somebody else that's brilliant Fab. Sarah said she didn't feel right in her illo tummy <laughs> you've got to believe that believe it when you feel that yeah the body knows mm. <laughs> we've got 10 minutes left should we do a five minute one yes five minute one that's good which crafty we positively affirm your choices <laughs> yes <laughs> Talk of Swiss army cheese. Remembered I had a Swiss army knife. 
Oh, I always have one. Stiff too, brain frazzled, trying to draw it. Oh, oh she's brought the Swiss Army knife to draw. Amazing. I've, I've got one. My, my pop had a little one on his key ring always. And then my dad had one. And then I have one. And now everybody in the what family's got one. Do? And now I get buy them for people for Christmas. You know the tiny ones that just go on your key ring? Oh, yeah, I've so got useful. One. They're brilliant. Have you? Yeah, I've got one. And it's, got, it's got a USB stick on it as well. Does yours have that? No. Yeah, it's mad. Wow. I went to Switzerland when I was still at uni for this magazine conference. I went a few times and every year they'd give you a free Swiss Army knife. Um, I was on the magazine team, so I've got so many. Yeah. Brilliant. Wow. If I find a screen, USB stick as well. Wow, yeah, that's good. And I think it's got 32 megs of a decent one. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> that's a score. It is a score. Uh, it's not a fan club. <laughs> Somebody there, who's that there? I'm going to bring it up. Which Crafty says that she asked for a crack knife for Christmas once and received something enormous with JCB branding. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh no, uh, frozen, defrozen. Ah. Swiss knife, very stiff, unopened for years. I didn't put that too well. Stiff fingers too. <laughs> Oh no, there's lots of hearts I can see. Holly's doing hearts. Oh. Who's frozen? Is it me? No! Are you guys still here? It says Helen Stevens left. Go back, hello! This is strange. There's Helen, let Helen back in. People are doing love hearts, so it must be fine. Thank you, Jane. Your mouth is where your eyes are meant to be. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I don't know oh, what happened. I don't know what happened. But for ages I was watching you saying, oh, no, it's frozen and I could <laughs> see you. <laughs> but now when I, I'm like, where's Helen? I can't see her anyway. Uh, very strange. Anyway, I'm back. You're back. Hooray. Okay, we've Shall got we set the timer for a five-minute one? Have we got time for a five-minute one now? We might have to do a four minute one. Yeah, let's do a four minute one. Yeah. Okay, get Good set, plan. go. Right, I am going bingo dabber. Nice. I've got a brush pen in here. I use that. That would be pleasing. Oh, wait, no, it's not a brush pen. I'm lying. It's a fine liner. An eyeliner. A uh, fine liner. A fine liner. I'm faffing. Uh oh. You've only got four minutes. You haven't got time to faff. I know. Pull myself together. <laughs> Get a grip. Come on, bingo dabber. I need some more bingo out of it. Uh -oh. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I wonder you have to have it's... quite a good grip to use a bingo dabber, don't you? They're quite... Yeah, you've got to like, squeeze it to get the bingo <laughs> out. Yeah. Susie Sidden says, can you translate thing for the American audience? Oh. <laughs> I wonder what we've been talking oh, about. <laughs> What have we been talking about that's difficult? Maybe bingo dabber? Are they called bingo dabbers? Oh, it was, uh, the word faffing. Oh, faffing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you're faffing about, it means you're just doing things that you don't need to be doing to, that are wasting time or they're... Be, uh, I'm not explaining this very well. 
I think wasting time is probably the best description. Doing yeah. unnecessary things. You faff about, like, when, maybe when you're little and you're trying to stall going to bed, you might faff about pretending you need <laughs> water and pretending that you need <laughs> and a bit of faff. Yeah. It's interesting trying to explain what words mean. I know, it's really funny. When Pi was little and she'd ask what words would mean and I'd try and explain and then I'd hand it over to Jerry and he'd have a go. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I don't know how to tell you about that. That's <laughs> uh, brilliant. I used to love learning new words. It was like a highlight of being alive. I don't remember that. Do you remember learning new words? I think when I was, I was probably not very little. One of them that I do remember was asking mum what sexual relations were. <laughs> <laughs> but I was only little. I think I was like six or seven, so she didn't tell me. Oh, and what did she, she didn't tell you? No, but she, I think she said, why? Why do you want to know? And I was like, because Hillary, or oh, Bill Clinton's been having them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember Pi asking me when she was in the back of the car, similar question when she was about, four she was at school i remember that and i'd always decided if she asks me anything i'll just tell her so i just told her like a very physical <laughs> description of what it is <laughs> and, um, and then i got an absolute panic that she was going to go to school and tell all the other children whose parents hadn't decided to do that <laughs> and i sat there saying thinking to myself now shall i tell her not to tell anybody because then that sounds like it's really really shameful I can't remember what I decided in the end. I think I just told her and let her spread the news around. <laughs> Take it, tell our friends. Good luck. <laughs> she laughed for ages and then months <laughs> went by and then I was reading to her in bed one night and then the question, like months went by, nothing, never mentioned it again. And then out of the blue, reading a book in bed, Mum, you know when you said about sexual relations or whatever she called it, do you have to go down to go to hospital to do it? Is it like an operation? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, book yourself in. <laughs> children are great. This is my children. Oh, are so brilliant. And it's such a logical question because it sounds so bizarre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, that makes total sense. You definitely have to go to do that. <laughs> Not a normal person. <laughs> uh, how did you go and mine looks weird? Oh uh, yeah, mine's mm, it's yeah, it's all right. It's all right actually. I like the look of it on the camera. Don't I think? like the colours. I did a wonky one, but I think I was distracted. What is it? Is it a watch with a very yeah. very long handle, long <laughs> strap? Wonky one. Because <laughs> I was trying to. Think how to define the word faffing, so I was there by faffing a while. <laughs> um, exactly. Illustrations by Lisa says, when does the course actually start? It'll arrive in your email box on Monday, and then the first Zoom call is on Thursday. Yes. So you have time to look at the course and think of any questions and get excited um, before we do the live call. Yeah, Holly says, did you lose the floor? I was distracted too. I definitely lost the floor. Yeah, something went on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody asking oh, when? It's eight o'clock. Have we got, shall we do a quick um, 10 second animal? Yes. Start shouting out your animals. Okay, 10 second animals is where we, um, people write animals in the comments. Um, I set the timer for 10 seconds. Katie shouts one out, and before anybody's got time to do a Google search or anything, we've just got to draw it. And okay. it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's Every a nightmare. time. I've seen one that you're in. I'm ready. Seagull. Seagull. Oh, we see plenty of those. We do. There we are. Seagull. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, they're brothers. Hello. They are. They're so similar. <laughs> That's because we see them all the time, isn't it? We do. Our neighbours. 
Oh, well, that is... Spoonbill stalk, that would have been a good one, a spoonbill stalk. Wow, these are neat. Or no. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you all for coming to Art Club. The The course doors close at 10, which is in two hours, because it's UK time, 10 p.m. Um, so if you want to join, now's the time. If you don't, that's also fine. Yeah, brilliant. And share your work at hashtag goodshipillo. We might take a little break from Tinternet over the weekend, but we'll see your stuff on Monday and we'll have a look and share it all, see what you've all been doing. Uh, do you know what? I won't be able to resist a sneaky peek in the morning before I get on my stuff. I was going to say, I'll, I'll be peeking tonight before I shut the sales page down, so I'll have a little Yeah, break. me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right. We'll see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.